What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the Intercontinental Hotel here. Phuket Resort. Alright, so here you have the concierge. And then over on this side, you actually have the check-in area. So you check in there. Now it is open air, outdoors. But don't worry, if your room's not ready, you can go inside the air conditioned area there, which I'll show you now. So this here is the lounge for just uh, checking in or checking out. You can see they've got some food here. Ham croissant there. This is not the Intercontinental uh, Executive Lounge, but it is a lounge. We've also got a bathroom and a locker with a shower back there. So, changing room. Yeah, just a basic lounge for air conditioning while you wait for your room. All right, so from here, we'll explore where most of the rooms are, away from the beach. If you wanted to pay a little bit extra, you can get closer to the beach, of course. Look at that. Bit of artwork. So you actually go under the road to get towards the beach. They have a underpass. I'll be showing you that a little later, so it's worth sticking around for. Now they have three restaurants. Wow, look at that shining. Some of the rooms over here. Bit of a hot day today. So this is the home restaurant, H-O-M. Home. Just showing you around real quick. They have the Som or Satai Spa. Hello, Cap. Thank you. So here's one of the pools, you can see, very relaxing. Also got pools here. area that I just walked through. And some of the rooms have pools right in front. You almost expect to see fish in there, but there isn't. It's a big, beautiful property, isn't it? Now, the room here does cost around $200 a night, but considering it's a five-star hotel, this grandeur it's a great deal right I'll continue to show you around here okay so now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go across the road here there's this tunnel that goes underneath the road take the stairs so let's see how that goes beach side as they call it 
this is what the stairs look like going down. Oh, okay. Here we go. It says, beware of vehicles. So I guess you could also take the buggy. And we're on the other side here. Hello, Cap. All right, so we're at Beachside now. We've got the Beachside pool here. Okay. I'll just walk around over here, show you the restaurant. Nice chairs here. What are these called? Uh, day chairs. And we're at Kamala Beach here. And here's Club Intercontinental. Club Intercontinental. So we're taking the buggy, huh? Okay, yeah. Yes. So I'm going from the beach to my hotel room. Just went under the road there. All right, so here's a look at the room. So you can see plenty of closet space here. Also a bag for you, safe. I don't see a robe, so. Oh yes, there is robes right there. And more closet space there, connecting room if you needed it. That's how the AC works. Turn that down just a skosh. And then here we have a look at the teas, mini bar, coffee. Okay, let's take a look in the fridge here at the mini bar. Oh wow, look at that. Look how much they got in here. Lots of good stuff, huh? This is where you keep your remote. And here's a look at the bed. So quite a big bed. The tub here. And then over here we have a shower for those of you who don't want to use the tub. Bathroom with phone, our toilet with phone. And then we're on the fifth floor here. Now they told me this was an upgrade. I'm assuming it is, but I don't know exactly. How do you open these? See, I don't know how to open that. Well, I gave up on opening the other side, so I'm just gonna stick to here. Nice. All right, now for my final review here of the Intercontinental in Phuket at Kamala Beach. 
So as you can see, it is a very beautiful property. It's one of the more expensive hotels in Phuket, in particular in Kamala Beach. So it's probably the best uh, hotel here in Kamala. Uh, the things that I like about it are the way it looks. I mean, the fact that, you know, you don't have to cross the road, even if it's busy, you can go under. They have golf carts that'll take you there. So they have a pool over there, a pool over here. This pool right here is very relaxing. I love it. Uh, I actually was swimming in it and I'm like, man, this is a great pool because I had the pool to myself. I mean, anytime you have the pool to yourself and it's so beautiful, that's always a good thing. Uh, no screaming kids or anything. There are kids here on the property, but they're not using this pool, at least not from what I saw. But the price is expensive. The food is not expensive. I mean, I ordered room service and it was like 500 baht for each meal, including the room service plus a tip, you know, but compared to the other hotels, I mean, I was sometimes paying much more than that. And I ordered a burger for lunch and then I had a, uh, a Thai dish for dinner for room service. So that's pretty good. Breakfast is a bit expensive though, but it's a nice buffet. I did not actually enjoy the buffet because it didn't come with the room. So I went outside, uh, walked along the beach. Kamala Beach is quite nice. It's not the best swimming conditions today, but I do like Kamala Beach. Uh, if I was to compare the Hyatt Regency to the Intercontinental, I would take Intercontinental uh, for the efficiency and the ease and the relaxation for the pools and the, I mean, it, I'll have to take Intercontinental, I would say, over Hyatt Regency. I like Hyatt Regency, but it's really hard to get around there. You need a golf cart for everything. You can't just walk outside your room. Plus, the beach here is a lot better than the one at uh, in front of the Hyatt Regency. If you haven't seen that Hyatt Regency video, I would encourage you to do so. The room here is nice. I would probably prefer the Hyatt Regency room over this room. Uh, I just felt like the bed was a bit more comfortable there. Although, the most comfortable bed I've found was at the Hilton Doubletree in uh, Patong. So we've also got a tour of that one. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, smash the likes and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you to all our subscribers.